Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How have you guys been? I hope everybody's doing perfectly well. So guys, today we have something different. Today it's get ready with me. I'm going to do my makeup in front of the camera. I'm going to show you guys how I achieve my makeup, how I beat this face before going out or going out for dinner so stay tuned and if you're new to this channel please kindly subscribe and if you're an old subscriber shout out to you thank you so much for staying so let's just get into this makeup like i am super excited to show you guys my little tricks disclaimer i'm not a makeup artist i'm just a regular person who tries to do her makeup on her own and i thought let me just share this with you guys so the first thing I'm gonna do is I've washed my face. I'm just going to use this Fenty Skincare. I'm gonna use the moisturizing cream. This one is the Hydra Visor Invisible Moisturizing Cream by Alitrilli. This one, and I'm gonna combine it with this one. This is the Fat Water from um, Fenty Skincare. I think I really like the smell of this, it smells so good, like it smells so, so good and I just love when my skincare product smells so good, it just adds something to it. Well, I cannot say for sure what I think about this Fenty skincare line because I haven't used it in a, like for a long time. I've just started using it. I think I'm gonna use it just in the evenings or something. Why am I using my left hand to cream my face? I don't even know why, but anyway. Because I can also use my right hand. Okay, anyway, this starts to drop, so it's not a problem. It's not a big problem. So guys, I've been thinking if I should do like, um, like a story time with you guys. How a guy rejected me so my face is well moisturized and the first thing I use is sometimes I choose to use like color corrector and this one it's from LA LA girl pro concealer so I've been using it I think I need to get my mirror like so I'm gonna be looking down a little bit <laughs> it's a little bit weird because i can see well i'm literally using the camera but my phone so what i do is i like cover up little spots on my face like i don't do too much of this because otherwise like otherwise it becomes like too reddish like i have get this red on the tone which I don't like, so I just do a little bit, like... By the way, when using my sponge, I always... Let me say beauty blender, yeah, sponge beauty blender. I always wet it up because I like it to be a little bit moist while using it. I feel like it works much better but there is a whole discussion about this people who use like like wet it a little bit so it blends more and there are other people who think that's just not necessary but I'm one of those people that think it works better when <laughs> you wet it up. So this is how it looks like now at this point. Yeah. And then what I do is, I just do my eyebrows. For my eyebrow, I'm going to be using this um, Christian Taille. I don't know if you can see this well, I'm just like... Or you can just use any regular eyebrow. What is this? Guys, I told you guys I'm not a makeup artist, so I don't even know the names of these things, like this equipment. 
and this one was just from Primark it also has a brush which you, it works perfect I'm just gonna brush out my brows and then uh, start for my brows I always use the LA Gal Pro Concealer and this is in the color fun because it's just so much better for my skin tone but I always like to mix it up with this MAC foundation so it's not too grayish then it becomes much more better so I just take a little bit and a little bit of the And then I mix both of them. I'm gonna be using this brush. I don't even know where I got this brush from. I've had it like for so long. Mix it up like that. So guys, I literally have applied it. What I do is just go like work it out, like blend it well to my eyelid, like. more blended the next thing I do is just go straight away to my foundation and I'm gonna be using this NARS foundation I think it's just perfect but the thing is I don't really like NARS foundation in the summertime it turns to melt out so in the summertime I turn to use my MAC foundation more often than the NARS foundation and during winter time, I use my NARS foundation because I think it's just perfect for the winter. But in the summertime, I don't really like it that much. So yeah, this is the shade I'm using. MD4 in Mako. Yeah, just um, I got this MAC foundation when I was traveling because it's much more cheaper at the airport than buying it from the store. In Holland, when I went to, like when I started using the NARS foundation, I always buy mine from the buying Korov which is much more expensive over there. But when I was traveling, I decided to just like buy a lot because after opening you have like a whole year to use it but if you haven't opened it up then you even have a longer time so i'll definitely advise you guys if you're buying like a foundation which is not um quite expensive when you leave you when you're traveling you can maybe just buy it at the airport because that way you get like so much discount on the product and that saves you so much money yeah. I even forgot to tell you guys. So I'm using the um, the this brush in Real Technique. I think it's just perfect to blend with. I prefer using this before using the Beauty Blender because this is just so much easier to blend. It goes like it carries a whole lot of space on your face with the Beauty Blender. It turns to like take so much makeup. But I have a feeling like this just does the work even much more better and faster. So I really like using a brush for my makeup. Now what I do is I just go a little bit here. This helps to blend the areas close to my eyebrow. 
so guys i am done with my foundation because it's evening time i don't want to do too much so i think this is well blended in like it's always nice to take your foundation brush and then go right to your neck area that's what i try to do a lot of times if i'm not wearing totoneck or anything that way everything is well blended i want to do the story time with you guys like what happened to me when i was in um, secondary school so i you know secondary school you're young i think i was just like 16 years old around that time i was 16 years old and yeah I was 16 years old and um, there was this guy that used to attend the same school like I did and I really did like him like so much I really really did like him that time I had a friend who was called Hibat like um so because I like that guy like so much I told Hebert and Hebert was like, you need to tell him, you know, because sometimes you just need to tell people how you feel about them. I feel like it shouldn't be only the guy who has to come to a female to say that I like you or whatever. I feel like if you like somebody, you should just step to the person. I know so many females are scared of rejection, so they turn not to tell people if they really like them. But I think we are all humans, you just tell the person, that way you get to know fast if the person also feels the same way for you. If not, then you move on with your life, you know, but females get to be so scared about doing that. Yeah, but anyway, I can understand because you, you might be scared of rejection that, you know, some guys are really stupid. Anyway. So she told me that why don't you just tell the guy so i decided i was gonna tell the guy so like guys the day before i had to tell the guy that i loved him <laughs> love him that was into him like that evening i like ironed my clothes and picked up my best clothes like guys the worst part is when I was in secondary school, right, I used to wear like the craziest combination of outfit. I wear like a green legging and a blue skirt and a yellow top. At that time, I thought I was really popping up. Huh? But that's like the wrongest combination ever. <laughs> uh, so what I did was the day before I even went to school, the day I planned to tell him, I like sprayed my mom's perfume because I needed to smell so good and I was so happy in my head I thought I find I found my husband and that we're just gonna live happily after ever after after telling him that I'm in love with him look at this small girl what I did was I was waiting when I got to school you know during break time we had like a canteen where everybody sits and eat so the bell went and my heart was like beating like so fast but I knew I had to do it because I was crushing on this guy like for the longest of time and uh, I was literally doing everything possible for him to notice me but I don't know guys so when it was break time i went to the canteen and um like he was sitting in a group and i went to him i was like hey please can i talk to you but of course in dutch so he was like oh no problem but then he took like two steps forward and came to me and then i was like what's up and blah 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 he's like cool and everything and i said i wanted to tell him something and he was like oh yeah go on what do you want to tell me I said um, then I decided to tell him that I really liked him like what was I even thinking I was so young that's so childish that's not childish that's just stupid oh is that not stupid anyway so I told him that I really liked him and blah 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 do you know what that guy said that guy turned to me and said 
you're not my type like literally you're not my type that guy really crushed me like my whole heart was broken into 20 million pieces like that's the worst thing that ever happened to me like one of the worst things that happened to me so he said I wasn't his type and then he laughed and his whole group of friends looked at me and laughed like guys if I could pee in my pants I literally would have like this guy sometimes she could just be nice be like oh you know blah blah blah. i don't know but you should just say yeah i'm not the type like that's so mean anyway fast forward like a couple of years later on i changed a lot i also was dressing differently i met like i was going to the grocery shop and um then i met the guy and he was like hey what's up i think that was like three years later and i was like good and then he was like yeah so do you want to hang out hang out and i was like you told me like three years ago i wasn't your type how all of a sudden i'm now your type so i was like you know you just fuck up like guys sometimes you just have to be clear what? i almost sprayed this on my face like i'm not even done like i told him fuck up like you know when i liked you you told me i wasn't your type all of a sudden i'm your type that's so weird so yeah so what did i even learn from this whole experience is just because a guy rejects you doesn't mean like because i wasn't his type and all of a sudden three years later i was his type crazy so i that thing really crushed me and i was so sad like super super sad so sometimes and now i have like someone else who i'm really happy with what I learned from the whole of that experience is that if you like someone, tell the person you like them and see. Because otherwise I would have just stayed without feeling like for the longest of time without even knowing how he feels about me. So it's better to tell the person when he rejected me, I knew that he didn't like me. So I was able to walk past that phase of my life. So it's really important because I know there are lots of girls out there that they might like someone but they can't they don't dare to tell the person because they are feeling like oh because of rejection darling like the rejection is just part of life it's just like it's just like going to the grocery shop or let's say getting a new pimple on your face or whatever it's just part of life and you just need to know how to work with rejection yeah so to all my little girls out there a rejection doesn't mean you're not the thing or you're not that girl it just it just means that the person is just stupid not to want you <laughs> i'm just kidding if someone doesn't want you you don't need to force yourself on them so what i'm actually doing now is literally just blending out all the makeup i've had on my face the foundation now i'm just going with my powder this powder is from Black Opal. I've used it like for a very long time. And this brush, I brought, bought it from uh, Primark. And it's just perfect. It was so cheap. I actually use this slick um, contour powder to do my nails. I just go like. blend it out again with this brush so highlight i basically just use this brush this was from primark also guys we have gotten to their favorite like the thing i like to do most like this is my favorite part of my whole makeup doing my lips i'm just gonna go um like to lip line my lips with this mac um lip liner
and then I'm gonna go over it with this Chanel lipstick this is in the color 168 I just love this lipstick You guys will see how like full my lips is gonna look in just a couple of seconds from now. Like this is magical. Mm. Because it's a little bit too whitish, so I'm just gonna go like this. This is also Chanel. And um The paper came off, but I don't know the color, but it's just a little bit pinkish, like this. So I got over it like... I love my lips to be really like... Glance up, like... Ooh! <laughs> so I go over it with this um, lip gloss from Kreitbad, like... So that's how it looks. Love me some full lips. Guys, yeah, for my eyes, I'm gonna be using this magnetic um, eyeliner, eyelash, which is so good. It's so easy to like to apply it because not it it's super easy to apply it. All I do is oh, like comes with a little bit of eyeliner such a small eyeliner I'm just gonna do this off the camera because I'm not that good in doing eye um, lashes so just a moment so guys this is my little makeup tutorial so I hope you guys liked it and if you like videos like this just comment below and I'm gonna do a couple of videos like this how I do my makeup very basic I have my eyelashes on it's not very very well done but I think it's good like this and it's good to go I'm just gonna dress up and I show you guys what I have on and then close this video <laughs> so guys I'm completely dressed this dress is from Miss Guida I really love it it's such a pretty color